And you're watching SABC News Primetime. Now oh, it's a race against time for the Farland Commission of Inquiry into the 2012 Madakana tragedy to wrap up proceedings by the latest deadline, the 30th of September this year. To that end, proceedings will no longer be divided into two phases. Evidence leaders tabled a motion to blend proceedings into one. Lonmen opposed the application. Evidence leaders want to question Lonmen on their socio-economic plans in Marikana. Lonmen lawyers argued their clients had insufficient time to prepare for that line of questioning. If the matter has, in the opinion of the Commission, been adequately canvassed, it will be able to make a ruling. If not, it may, as Mr. Nsebenza contended, consider referring the matter in terms of paragraph 5 of its, ter of its terms of reference to some other body for further investigation. Rock drill operator Shadrick Njamba was injured and arrested on the 16th of August 2012. He told the commission he thought he was going to die with his colleagues during the clash which killed 34 miners. I, I was thinking uh, this is my last day, I'm going to die today. My, the running away was actually an endeavor to, to save my life. Because I had never experienced before, Chairperson, people being shot in such a, a, a hurting manner. One of the strike leaders, Kolani Nzuza, gave his evidence in chief. He blamed Lonmen's lack of caring for escalating tensions. If Lonmen had come to speak to us, uh, Chairperson, as we had requested, we would go ahead, gone back to work. Police witness Mr. X previously identified Nzuza as one of the men who killed a Lonmen security guard. Nzuza has been accused of being one of the masterminds behind the 2012 chaos at Marikana. He is denied any involvement. On Tuesday, Minister Susan Shabangu will take the stand. In 2012, she was the Minerals and Resources Minister. She'll be quizzed on her involvement at Marikana and the events that unfolded. The inquiry continues. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News, Centurion.